Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. I'm going to take a look at the AccuCheck guide, show you how to set up and use this glucose meter. Included in the box that I purchased, I got the carrying case, the lancing device, uh, 10 lancets to get you started, a quick start guide, and then two uh, full complete user manuals in English and Spanish. In addition to testing, you'll need to buy some test strips to go with the meter. I'll include a link where you can get those or you can find those at your local pharmacy. Other things you will eventually need, more lancets. I'll include a link for those as well. And then control solution. Control solution I will show you how to use in a separate video. So first of all, let's get our meter set up. We can look at it and see there are buttons on the front. This is the back button. There are up and down buttons to scroll through the menus the OK button which also powers on the meter test strips go right in there on the side you'll see the test strip eject button and then a USB port that's not for power that is for downloading to a computer so first of all you can press the OK button to power on the meter and it's gonna ask you to select your language you just pick your preferred language and hit OK so after you choose your language, it will be ready to test, but you can also check your date and time. It is, of course, displayed at the top, and if you need to change that, you just arrow down to settings, hit OK, and then you pick the time and date, and hit OK once again, and then you can adjust to your current time, starting with hours, adjust that, hit OK to go on to minutes, and then on to AM or PM. Select OK, and then you're on to the day, the month, the day, and the year. And then your time is set. To get back to the main menu, you just press the back arrow, and you're ready to go. You can hold down the OK button to power off the meter. If you hold it down until the bar is full, your meter is powered off. Okay, so next we will want to familiarize ourselves with the Lancet device. That, of course, is what you use to poke your finger to produce the drop of blood. Uh, pushing on the end of the lancet device will charge the spring. You notice the window is yellow when the spring is charged and when the spring is not ready, it's clear. Also, there, the cap to insert lancets, is just you just pull that off. There is a little notch on the cap. You want to be certain that is lined up with the notch on the lancet device when you replace it. The sleeve right here serves as a lancet eject. When you push that forward, it'll eject the lancet out. So you want to get a new lancet each time, a soft clicks lancet. You put it in until it's fully seated and twist the top off. I like to save the top for when I dispose of the lancet. We line up our notch, replace the lid, and then you can adjust the depth. I generally start around three or four and adjust from there as needed. Next, we'll want to get a test strip. Open your vial. Always leave your vial of test strips closed when you're not retrieving a test strip as they can be sensitive to temperature and humidity. Then you just insert the silver end of the test strip into the meter. And now it's preparing and it says it's ready for our drop of blood. So our hands are thoroughly washed with warm soapy water and then dried. We want to charge the spring on our Lancet device. I like to use the side of a finger so I just put that on there, push the button, and if you need to gently massage your finger to ensure you have an adequate drop of blood, you can do that. And then you just touch the end of the test strip to the drop of blood and it will be drawn inside the meter and the test begins. And there's our reading. Now you can just be done there or if you want to add a comment, you can press the OK button. And then you can put, um, whether it was before you ate, after it ate, it gives that reading a little more of relevance. And this is, I just ate about an hour ago, so I'm going to call this after meal and press OK. You can also choose before meal, fasting, or at bedtime. And then it's going to save that reading as 104 after eating. You can eject the test strip using the button that I showed you earlier. Just push that button and the test strip is easy to get out of there. The meter will power off on its own or you can hold down the OK button to power that off. Now let's go ahead and remove our lancet. So again, we just remove that 
cap like we did when we were inserting it. I like to jab the lancet into the plastic top that we removed earlier. That way no one can get accidentally poked by that. And then again, you can just move that sleeve forward and that lancet will eject out. Go ahead and replace the lid so it's ready for next time. So that's just a general overview of the AccuCheck guide. Go ahead and ask me any questions in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them for you. I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.